What's up, money growers? It is Jacob back here with another video. This one uh, should really be able to help you guys out. For those of you that are looking to either build credit or rebuild your credit, because you either have no credit or you've had bad credit issues in the past, or really challenged credit or that kind of thing, uh, this should help you a lot, because we're gonna be talking about some of the worst secured credit cards. Um, available. So there's others that I'm sure could make this list that are, you know, people would consider to be the worst. If you can think of others, definitely put them in the comment section. Maybe I'll do a part two to this video. So that's what we're going to be talking about today. So guys, go ahead, hit the subscribe button on this channel. I do appreciate you guys helping each other out in the comment section a whole lot. A lot of you here, like, you know, Corey, I've seen you in there uh, a lot. Socks Rocks, you have been. Neil, uh, Tammy, right? I like seeing you guys in there helping each other out in the comment section. You guys are very active and I do appreciate that. Now, these credit cards, these are cards that suck. Okay, for secured credit cards. Even though this is a thumbs down right here because these cards suck, please hit the thumbs up button. But we're gonna be talking about these because lots of people who are looking for a secured credit card, they're obviously, you know, generally, they're in kind of a vulnerable spot, right? Because either they have bad credit, so they're struggling financially oftentimes, or they have no credit and they're just learning about credit. So, you know, either way, um, they don't have necessarily the best understanding of credit. So this is where you're a little more vulnerable to get taken advantage of. So now we're gonna just jump into these five right here. And we're gonna start off with the first one. I think this may be the suckiest one of all of them. Okay, you will see this one on numerous lists of like bad credit cards and bad secured cards and that kind of thing. First Premier Bank Secured Credit Card, okay? Annual percentage rate, 19.9%, uh, $200 credit limit. The limit is 200 with this card. So oftentimes with secured cards, it'll be a minimum deposit of 200, maybe 300, right? And it can go up to, you know, thousands, just depending on the card. Uh, cash advance fee, eight bucks or 5% of the amount of each cash advance. Foreign currency fee, 3% of the transaction amount. Late payment fee, up to $39. Return item charge, up to $39. I don't even think a late payment fee on my Chase Sapphire Preferred is that high, or at least like the first one's not that high. Maybe later ones are, but um, yeah. No bueno. So as we continue to look at why this card sucks, uh, so why we don't like this card, there's a $50 annual fee on this secured credit card. Now that's garbage because there's no shortage of secured credit cards you can find where there's no annual fee. I mean, we're at zero. But listen to this. This is the part where they really screw you. This And this is straight from the website. But you actually have to find this, though, in the terms and conditions. So you got to read the fine print. This is part of the reason I encourage people to do that, particularly if you're brand new to credit or particularly if you're trying to fix credit. you got to read this kind of stuff because this is where sometimes you can get screwed and not even know it. So right off their website. Some of these setup and maintenance fees will be assessed before you begin using your credit card and will reduce the amount of credit you initially have available. So listen to this. So based on your initial credit limit of $200, your initial available credit will only be about 150 because they're going to take that $50 annual fee out of the 200. So out of the $200, you're already getting 25% taken from you. I mean, the $150, and now you're down to $150. I mean, $200 is not that much to begin with anyway. And then listen, listen to this part. It says credit limit increase eligibility upon request only after 13 months, over a year. I mean, geez, dude, you could you could find a find a girlfriend, get married, and have your first kid. You're gonna have a whole family by then in 13 months. So say, says if you have your if you have kept your account in good standing, on time payments, and staying within the credit limit. Yeah, the credit limit of when they take 50 bucks out of your 200 that you have, like you're working with a small credit limit here. And for 13 months, they make it sound like it's <laughs> like it's a good offer. But if you have like, say the, um, like the end rewards card with Navy Federal, I mean, that's secured credit card after three months. If you're responsible for three months, they will give you an increase on that card. And you don't even have to ask for it. You know, and on that card, if you do, even if you um, have to wait six months on the Ed Rewards secured card, six to 12 months is when you can graduate to a secured card, or excuse me, you can graduate to an unsecured card. But even if it takes you six months to get a credit limit increase, that's still better than this garbage. Like it's still gonna be more than twice as long. I mean, this is more than four times, no, more than three times as, uh, yeah, more than four times as long as it would take with the Ed Rewards card with Navy Federal, which has no annual fee, by the way. So this, this card takes 25% of your limit and the $50 annual fee, make you wait over a year um, to be able to get your credit limit increased. And yeah, this is, this is bad. So 
don't mess with it. Okay. Next, we'll talk about the Applied Bank Secured Visa Gold Preferred Credit Card. Okay. Now, this one, the one-time fees are zero. The monthly fees zero. Regular APR, 9.99%. So it doesn't sound too bad uh, on the surface. Minimum deposit, 200 bucks. Max late fee, $38. Foreign transaction fee, 3%. Cash advance, APR, 9.99% cash advance fee 5% or minimum of five bucks. Now, looking at this card, why we don't like it, okay? $48 annual fee, so just two bucks less than we were looking at before uh, on this card. So it is a bit pricey for a secured card because there's you know so many uh, secured credit cards available where you can get, like I said, with you know no annual fee on the card. And then also there's no rewards on this card. <laughs> there's no rewards at all for using this card because there are cards like um, Bank of America, has one, I think even two secured credit cards where you can get cash back on a secured card. Uh, one of them, I forgot the name off the top of my head. I think they give you 3% cash back on any category you choose and like 2% on groceries and 1% on everything else with a secured card. And that's something you typically get on an unsecured card. So they're offering that on a secured card. This is offering nothing. You get nothing for rewards with this card here. So moving on, we'll talk about First Progress Platinum Select Master Card secured credit card. Jeez, okay, that's a long name. This card, first progress, we're gonna call it. Okay, so one time fee zero dollars, minimum deposit two hundred bucks, regular APR thirteen ninety nine, max late fee forty bucks, foreign transaction fee three percent, cash advance APR nineteen point nine nine percent, and cash advance fee three percent, minimum ten bucks. Now, as we look at why we don't like it, annual fee thirty nine bucks. So not as bad as some of those we're looking at before. Um, also, this one also does not offer any rewards, so it doesn't offer crap for using this card. No points, no cash back, no nothing for using this. And it's also unavailable in four states. So New York, Wisconsin, Iowa, and Arkansas. I, to me, I don't see any kind of pattern between those four states. I don't know. It seems to be like four kind of random states. So they're available in just 46 states of the 50. So if you're in one of the, those four states, you can't get this card anyway. And it's probably better that way. All right, now we're looking at here for another one. First National Bank of Omaha, their secured Visa card. Now, this one, I actually done a video about this, um, um, about First National Bank of Omaha before. So I did one way back when I first started the channel. And talking about this, there's an annual fee of $0, right? One-time fee, $0, so we're looking pretty good. Regular APR, 20.24%. Max late fee, 40 bucks. Foreign transaction fee, 3%. Cash advance APR, 25.24%. Cash advance fee, 5%, minimum $15. Now, as we look at this, here's something that hurts. So minimum deposit, 300 bucks. It's a little higher than 200, you know, the 200 that's normal, but not a big deal. But here's the part that are, that can hurt, is they do a hard pull. Uh, from the data points I've seen online and from research, they do a hard pull for this credit card, uh, for the secured card, which oftentimes there's no shortage of secured cards or secured, secured loans and things like that. You know, options you have where they don't do that and they don't do a credit check. So, I mean, to me, this like seems to largely defeat the purpose, especially when there's so many other secured cards you can get um, that don't do that, that don't do a hard pull. So, you know, and everyone knows, not everyone, if you're brand new to credit, you may not know this, but most people usually know that if there's a hard pull, um, you know, for an applicant's, um, for, on your application for a credit card, then, you know, your score can drop, right? Three points, five points, seven, ten, just depends, right? Now, your score can bounce back from a hard pull, right? Um, but if you're someone who's really got bad credit and, you know, you may want to do everything you can to avoid that. So, you know, your score can bounce back, right? Especially long term, you keep doing well, managing your credit well, managing your money well. So you'll be okay. But it's just the fact that they even do the hard pull on a secured card really doesn't make it that appealing. I mean, in my opinion. And as we're getting ready to wrap this up here a little bit, we have the First Progress Platinum Prestige Master Card Secured Credit Card. <laughs> Long name. Again, First Progress. Uh, One-time fee of zero, minimum deposit 200 bucks, regular APR 9.99, max late fee 40, foreign transaction fee 3%, cash advance APR 18.99, cash advance fee 3%, minimum 10 bucks. And as we go through this here, uh, why don't we like it? Well, $49 annual fee. <laughs> Again, right up to hell, that's damn near 50 bucks, like we were talking about. Uh, first with Premier. So that's a big thing with these um, secured cards. If they're going to charge you an annual fee, because a lot of times people are going for a secured card because they're already not in the best financial situation. So when they hit you with an annual fee like that right up front, um, that's usually a, a big, I mean, in my book, that's a big negative. So there's lots of secured card options, like I said earlier, where there's no annual fee, or you can get 
uh, points, right? You can get, you know, cash back. You can actually get some rewards. You can get some more benefit um, in addition to building up your credit. So some of these cards that, you know, may hit you with a hard pull or they charge you this annual fee um, or they have a really low credit limit. Now those are garbage. So with that being said, these are the five cards. First Premier Bank Secured Credit Card, sucks. Applied Bank Secured Visa Gold Preferred Credit Card, sucks. First Progress Platinum Select MasterCard Secured Credit Card, sucks. First National Bank of Omaha Secured Visa uh, Card, sucks. And then First Progress Platinum Prestige MasterCard Secured Credit Card, sucks. Subscribe to the channel for more. <laughs> so hopefully this was helpful for you guys. Again, if there's some other cards you think should have made this list but did not, definitely tell me about it in the comments section. If some of these cards you think really are not that bad, then hey, tell me about that down below too. I like to hear the opinions. I do appreciate you guys helping each other out. If you have questions, ask them in the comments, dude. There's a good, some good people here on the channel who will do what they can to help answer your question. Um, you know, if I can't for some reason, they'll chime in, they'll help answer and do what they can to help you out. So I appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate you guys um, hanging out with me today on this video, taking some time out of your day to watch this. With all that being said, take care. And next time I see you, keep growing your money.